Hey guys, what is going on? It's your boy Rob from Panther Vision. And uh, you know, I said, let's uh, recreate this flower that I had on uh, Instagram posted. You know, a lot of people are complaining that they don't understand how it's done. Well, guess what? I don't even understand how I did it. So I needed to figure out how the hell I did it. It's, uh, I think this tutorial, like it's, it's the most complicated one so far. Uh, because I even don't know how to do it. All I know is like basically I started uh, it, everything started from a Celtic uh, symbol and that eventually got transformed into this kind of uh, star flower thing and then it got like stylized into this uh, beautiful uh, flower element. So um, it's a pretty complex process but if you want to learn how to do it then stick with me and I'm gonna show you. But before doing so, if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can get notified with new tutorials. So the first thing is uncheck the fill, just press X or uh, not even X, just press the dash or you just uh, press here and it's gonna the fill, it's gonna disappear. So we're, we are remain with the stroke, uh, increase the stroke to 8 like that and uh, select the circle from you the ellipse tool click on the screen or on the artboard and uh, just go and type in 42 by 42 and we have our first little circle uh, it's good if you do the same exact uh, circle so we do the exact form and uh, we need to make this of course sharp uh, it needs to be a sharp edged and uh, you know we're gonna calculate the height of that so first what we're gonna do is select the rectangle tool click on the screen and the height of this rectangle is gonna be 66 and you can reduce this to 20 so we can see some difference going on in here and we're gonna position this uh, right above I mean right ex where exactly where the circle is we're gonna press Control or command R so you can see the ruler appeared here with the uh, control R like that and you're gonna press and hold the ruler and just drag it where the path is release it and now you can see how tall it's going to be so we're gonna select the circle we're gonna go to the pen tool and you don't select the pen tool you select the anchor point tool and with this we're gonna click on this anchor point right here and now you see that it made it more sharper you're gonna press the A or you can go to the menu to select the direct selection tool and click on the anchor point and drag it upwards also press shift so it's gonna isolate right there you know without shift it can go left and right but with shift it isolates you know only up and down and you're gonna drag it till the guide ends right there uh, so we got the our first form so basically how I did it is I rotate this one downwards and I think this I created the um, this kind of weird thing let me check real quick how it is yeah, yeah, yeah so this is it I don't know the calculation was like this is how I started you can do it like vice versa also so just go to the effects distort and transform transform hit previews do five copies and how I did it this was like 60 but I don't know if, if it's gonna be the same this is like minus 21 yes it should go and this one is like 36 yeah exactly so yeah this is the star we're gonna create a new copy press alt and uh, just uh, put the you know arrow to the shape and drag it also press shift so you can isolate it so this way you can create a new copy from here we're gonna go to the object expand appearance so you can see it expanded once we got uh, the strokes only but we want to you know expand the, uh, again like click expand and then click ok so now we got only 
the fill without any stroke. And what, basically what we want to do is um, have this shape which goes like this and this little thing. And we're going to need to cut these out. Uh, I'm going to sell. Oh, wait, wait a sec. Ungroup. Ungroup again. Okay. Ungroup again. What the hell? Okay, basically it's grouped more times. Just ungroup it until it's uh, everything is ungrouped. Uh, we're going to add some. Um, go to the objects, go to the path, and uh, click offset path. Click previews, as you can see, it did an offset. Uh, we're gonna de decrease the offset size to four. The meter limit is four, the joint is on the meter, and then click OK. What we're gonna do is cut out some parts because we want to be remained with uh, basically what, what? What? Oh, we're gonna. We're gonna select this and also this too, I think. I don't even know what I'm doing. Yeah, exactly, something like that. So now we're gonna press Shift plus M or you can go to this and select Shape Builder tool. And from here, we're gonna press and hold Alt. Right now you can see there's a plus under the arrow. Now we're gonna press and hold the uh, Alt, now you can see a minus, and with this thing we can cut out the forms. We want to cut out this part because it starts from here and it goes uh, like this. And we want to cut this out also. So we are remained with this part. Anyways, we're gonna select these, release compound path, and I think we should be good. We're gonna delete these parts and what the hell? Ungroup, ungroup. Oh my god, there's a lot of stuff going on in here. Wait a sec. Anyway, I'm gonna press Shift plus M again, press Alt, cut this out then. Anyways, we won't need this. I don't need this and I don't need to see this. So basically, what we need is this and this. To be more precise, we need only this part, so we need to cut out uh, also this. Uh, how I did it before, I made these sharp. And uh, you know, I'm just gonna eyeball it with the pen tool to test it out, how it's gonna work from here if I create a an edge around here. I don't know if you understand what I'm doing right now. It's a little bit more complicated, but uh, let me see, I gotta... So this is basically how, to, how this uh, form goes, what basically I need. This is the form I need. Uh, I'm gonna bring this here to be more organic, to be more natural in there. Um, yeah, so this is what I need. I'm gonna, I actually I'm gonna merge the, uh, unite these forms with this from the pet finder, you can the unite. If you don't have the pet finder, go to the windows and select pet finder. And from there, we're going to unite this. Okay. Let me... Let me see what I did. Look at these, all these unnecessary... Um, paths, which is like really annoying right now. But I'm going to press Shift plus M, cut this out. And uh, we got what we need here. This is just a prototype, it's unclean, it's not uh, that good. I'm gonna remove uh, some of the anchor points at the moment. I'm gonna go to the pen tool and go to delete anchor points right here. And you just go to the anchor points and click on the path and remove them like that. You can see it created a lot of anchor points, which is not that clean. Uh, we're gonna work with that a little bit later on, but now what we want to do is, of course, go to the effects again. Distort and transform, transform, hit previews, do five copies, rotate, I think it, it was like 60 or I don't know, it could be like 120 because we're going like vice versa. Yeah, I think it's it's like this or maybe not 
let me put to 60. Well, just a sec. Transform previews. Okay, it should be like 60. And uh, I don't know. I don't know the precise numbers because uh, if you cut it, you need to adjust it uh, accordingly, and uh, basically it won't look the same exact as the previous calculations. So this is going to be different. That's going to be different. So. You know, you click OK to see how it's going to look and if it doesn't look good, then uh, you're going to select this form again and you're going to go back by going to this, the appearance and transform. So here you can see the effects what you put on the on the on the vectors, basically. So you can, you can click on the transform, click previews. If you don't have this, then go to Windows and select the appearance and it's, it's basically going to appear here somewhere and then click again transform let's see how we can adjust this even better I, and anyway it's good like how it looks right now because anyway we're gonna modify it with uh, the pen tool and the direct selection tool but first, what we're going to do is remove a lot of these unnecessary anchor points. So you're, so you're going to select the delete anchor points option and we're going to remove some of the anchor points. I want to simplify it as much as possible because after all, I'm going to uh, customize it even more. As you can see, it's a little bit, it, it's getting crazy, but you know, we're gonna, it's gonna be refined after all. So don't worry about these. So right now it looks something like this, but what we're gonna do right now is go to the direct selection tool, select the direct selection tool or press A. And from here, we're gonna select every anchor point, press shift and you're gonna drag the handle like this and this handle also so it's gonna make it more rounder a little bit it's a lot of stylization going on uh, stylization and uh, you know logo design in graphic design is really crucial if you can master and understand how to do the stylization correctly uh, it's more complicated it's uh, more time-consuming you really need to understand how to how to do it so this is a difficult task to do it as you can see here is like right now it's pretty much edgy so we need to adjust this correctly and uh, it needs some um, it needs some practice until you get these things right and you understand and feel the forms in the right way so we're gonna speed this up now Right now, right here, we kind of got to the end and here we're gonna go. As you can see, this thing doesn't have handles like these have. So what we're gonna do is go here and convert select anchor points to smooth. And now it's converted. So what we want to do is press and hold alt so you can uh, adjust the handles separately. If we don't press and hold alt, then uh, all the handles like both size of the handle is going to move the same way so what we do is like press and hold alt and adjust the handles um, separately like this and this one we're going to move it inside like this
So uh, this is it. Uh, mostly this is it. Also, it's, of course, it's not perfect. It still needs a lot of adjustments until it's gonna be perfect. But this is a tutorial, so you basically get the main idea how it's done. Uh, you need like more stylization until until it gets more refined and it's gonna look better and this and that but this one i also created with the simplifier because with the object and where was the pet and simplify and this is how i got this form but uh, yeah it was like a lot of uh experiment going in and uh i discovered a lot of methods there so um yeah this is how it's done mainly and hope it helped some way but uh, yeah thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification